Hello, this is Donnie Smith with Butler Community College, and today we're going to show you how to replace a bedside. We had a Chevrolet pickup come in, had a damaged bedside, had the bumper that has been smashed into it, and we're going to replace it. Well, we're going to, re uh, you know, take the old bedside off and put a new bedside on. And in this video tutorial, we're going to show you how to remove that and how to install another one. Now you can see in this picture we have the bedside we already ordered it and have it in before we started the repairs and you know we can go ahead and take that bedside before we do anything else and set it up to the pickup and make sure that we have the correct part and that's something that you always want to do is make sure that your parts are correct because the last thing you want is to get that bedside off and realize it's the wrong one then you know you'll have a lot of complications at that time so to eliminate any surprises we're gonna set it up there make sure we got the right parts and now we can continue the repairs. Another thing you want to do is inspect the part for any damage that it may receive during shipping. And if you'll notice in this picture, we did have a dent in it. And uh, you know, if you're working for the body shop, you may want to negotiate that with your, you know, your uh, suppliers to see if they, you know, will you know pay an hour on it or something like that or the shipping company you know there's different things you can do and that's between you know your business and your negotiations but here at the school you know we're not worried about that because uh you know it's a good practice for us anyway so we just went ahead and repaired the damage and uh it made it very easy for us because we're able to get to the back side as you can see in one of the pictures where you know kind of work we can work uh the damage from both sides which you know you don't have that opportunity to do that a lot on these newer parts so uh, we did work the damage out first we got a 36 uh, grit block and we kind of sanded it cross sanded a little bit and that helped us helped us indicate the highs and lows and we found it we worked it out and then uh, then we could go ahead and continue with the repairs okay now you can see that we are removing the tailgate now you need to remove the tailgate because we're gonna actually take the bed off in order to replace the bedside now we are going to R and I to tailgate. Now that stands for remove and install. That's where you take a part off and you're going to put the same part back on. Now the bedside, where you we are going to R and R that, and that stands for remove and replace. That's where you're going to remove the old part and you're going to put a new part back on. So first step is we're going to R and I the tailgate. Next, we need to remove the bolts that uh, screw into the filler neck for the gas tank because the gas tank will stay, you know, with the chassis on the frame. And the, whenever we lift the bed off, you know, it'll be lifted off that. So you need to disconnect the uh, filler neck from the bedside. And we also need to take the tail lights out. We need to take the tail lights out and uh, the wiring because all the wiring will stay with the frame. And when we lift the bed off, you know, we don't want to get caught up with the, you know, wires and damage them or anything. So we're going to go ahead and take the, the, the tail lights out and drop the wiring so that we can pull the bed off. Now in these next couple of photos, I'd like you to look inside the bed because we are taking, you know, some of the hardware off, some of the parts, and we are placing them in bags. And we're going to label these bags and we're going to store them you know in an area that's designated for this job so that is very important to stay organized and keep your you know your parts labeled and know exactly where they go now this is especially important in a school environment like we are at different people may be working on this project and no matter you know who took it apart if someone else is putting it together and it's labeled like it should be you know there'll be no question and I think it's good practice for anyone, you know, even if you're a technician in a shop. Now, if you're, uh, you know, uh, doing a restoration job, I mean, that thing may be apart for six months to a year to more. So if you'll take the time and get in the habit of doing this, I think it'll really save you a lot of time in the long run. So it'll eliminate a lot of uh, uh, problems that could arise, you know, hunting for parts at the last minute, not being able to find what you need you know that's just a that's a issue that you could uh, eliminate so really recommend staying organized with your parts now before we just start cutting and drilling out spot welds to take that bed side off uh, first we need to uh, straighten some of the parts and and I always have questions you know or 
students question me about why are we straightening this but I think it's a good idea to go ahead and straighten the best you can the parts that you're going to be replacing because what this does is whenever you pull the damage out it helps realign the parts that that's attached to the structure that that's attached to where the new part will fit on correctly so you can see in this picture how the bumper has caved into the the bedside and what we're going to do is we're just going to hook a chain up on the frame machine and pull that bumper out of the bedside and that'll give us access to get to it better it, you know it'll it'll straighten the the bumper up and you know help realign you know the, the parts that that's attached to so we went ahead and pulled the bumper out now you can see that it's pulled out we have better access to the bumper to go ahead and start uh, you know stripping the bumper down now another thing we're going to do is work on this front panel uh, this wasn't did nothing to do with the with the bedside I think actually a four-wheel or something must have been slammed up against the front panel of this bedside and smashed it clear into the cab where it was hitting the cab but we're gonna go ahead and hook up to that and we're gonna pull the front panel out until we realign you know where it's straight so we welded some tabs to the front panel hooked uh, a chain a couple of chains up to them and uh, you know made a pull and, and got that damage pulled out 